pretty cool shot right there. Not gonna lie. Hello. The flying footage from the month of May, um, a lot of it didn't really turn out super well. Um, some cameras died on me, I had audio issues, that sort of thing. Um, but to be fair, most of the flying in May was just landing after landing after landing, and more landings and more landings and more landings. I think I'm getting better at this point, but, um, well, you'll see the footage here in a second and you can judge for yourself. Another thing we did this month was uh, precautionary landings and illusions due to drift. Um, the footage of which is actually kind of boring because uh, it's just us sort of just like talking about stuff and nothing really happens. But before I show you the footage from my most recent flight, which in which the audio actually works and the footage turned out, um, something that has happened in May, I kind of realized that I may not be able to afford to be a pilot. Essentially, I have X number of dollars in my flying account, which was money from me selling the car, or whatever's left from me selling the car, um, but that may or may not be enough for me to actually get my private pilot's license. Now, the good news is I can get what's called a recreational license. So what that is, it's a bit of a step down from the pi private. Um, it, w there are a few more restrictions. It's things like you can only carry one passenger, you can only fly a plane up to four seats, that sort of thing. But the good news is that will actually be doable, assuming I pass all my tests. And well, if I get that done, then I'll have it and um, I can still build hours and get the private one day. So the new plan is to still write the written exam, still have my two years to hopefully get the private license. But even if I had a license today right now and, and assuming that, you know, it was just like the regular, there's no extra money kicking around for me to fly. I really wouldn't be flying that much anyways, just because of the cost. I'll still be able to stay current for sure. Like I'll still be able to fly enough to keep my license going and that sort of thing. But to be proficient, mm, the good news is since the plan will be now to save money or at least spend it a bit less quickly, uh, I have decided to buy myself a headset. So tune in for that. That'll be here hopefully for next month's video. Hi, it's Paul from the future. Uh, so it turns out my headset actually arrived two days after I recorded this, uh, which was actually two days before my next flight. So you'll see my headset here shortly. Back to the video. But yeah, that's basically been the month of May for me. It's basically just been a whole lot of landings and uh, a bit of a reality check. So let's get back to the video and watch uh, some stuff. Kamloops Radio, Golf Victor Oscar Tango, run a complete. We're taxiing to hold short of 27. Victor Oscar Tango, uh, Roger. Traffic update about to take position, runway 27 southwestbound Q400. As you get in the circuits, mid downwind, additionally inbound from the east Q400, planning runway 27, about six minutes. What do I say? Victor Oscar Tango? Yep. Victor Oscar Tango. Camel Radio, Jazz 375, just about handed off the center and attempt through 8800. Jazz 55 is rolling, runway 27. Camel Radio, Papa Oscar, uniform, downwind 27, touch and go. Victor Oscar Tango, uh, are you fine with the turbulence from the departed Q400? If you can, you can depart at your discretion with the zenith still in the downwind, or you can hold short of your discretion. Thanks. Looks like they may be turning base here. Victor Oscar Tango, lining up for the immediate. Victor Oscar Tango, we're lining up for the immediate. Bob Oscar Uniform, the uh, uh, Q400 is 9 mile final, uh, correction, Victor Oscar Tango, sorry. The Q400 is a 9 mile final, now you can turn that cross on your discretion. Victor Oscar Tango, we're now turning base for T7 there. Crosswind. You're turning crosswind, confirm. Victor Oscar Tango, we're on crosswind, turning base, or correction, uh, downwind now. Hey, Roger. You need more coffee there. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, should there be a plane coming in on final somewhere? Yep. I got it. Look at Juniper Heights, right above it. Juniper Ridge, or whatever. Oh, yeah, there's a the guy. You got it. Pop Oscar Uniform request you to hold short runway 27, uh, the Cessna about to turn final. Roger, Pop Oscar Uniform holding short 27. Victor Oscar Tango, turning final T7, touch and go. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. You've got an audience, Paul. Okay, when you make the runway, you've made it. Hold. Okay. Hold it, hold it. Down the runway, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. A 
That's unfortunate. All right, so roughly, sta roughly stable. Uh, Flow checks, TSV's in the green, power rest mag, is like the required, so you feet out. Uh, mumbling more, more mumbling, more mumbling. Hey, so you're making the runway. Hold it off. Hold, 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 hold. Hold. Now. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Hey, there's the bounce. All good, you got it. Awesome. Very well done. Lined up. Take off. You know what? I'm actually pretty happy with my takeoff. Here, I'll show you. Airspeed's alive. You can be in the green. Off we go. Look at that. Very gentle takeoff. All right, here we go. It's a slight, slight crosswind from the left. Although it's probably not going to make a difference. Not to my landing. Getting right full power. Full the power nice and slow. Pull it to cruise. Oh. Wasn't centered. But whole oh boy was that a buttery landing. That was just like butter on a bald monkey, that one. I hope they were watching that. I actually don't know how, my nose probably should have been up a bit higher on that one. It was smooth, but my nose probably should have been up a bit higher. Alrighty, a little bumpy right there, that's alright. So we're going to pull the power, made the runway, looking down the runway. Going around. Don't trust it. Go flaps 10. Go flaps 10. There they go. A couple bites of the cherry there. Push it to that. That was a concern. Everything's good. Don't look at the people walking their dogs down there. Focus on the runway. Get your nose pointed at that runway. Alright, getting ready to pull the power. We're a little low, but that's okay. Expecting some bumps right here, we're getting them. Slowly pulling the power back. Ooh, wow, that was a big, big dip there. Holy cow. Oh, that was getting kind of nasty right there. Yeah, that was getting rough at the end. I had one nice land. The first one was great. First one was a lovely landing. Everything else was like, yike. You're just playing with the right runner. You should, like, my left foot's on the floor, and I'm just following with the right. Oh, beautiful. Okay. See how stable that was? Yeah. Amazing. Do you want to turn your cameras on one where? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. You're on control? Okay. I, I'm on control, thank you. Let's go. Let's go in, and go. Don't know why I'm adjusting that as a 360 camera, who cares? All right, my controls. You have the controls. Oh, look at that trim, though. Oh, my goodness. You're welcome. Uh, full track. Left <laughs> <laughs> 20. Awesome. I was waiting. I was like, come on, Paul. <laughs> Get so excited about all the traffic that's going on right now. Uh, busiest day you've probably had here. Probably. Thank God I'm not in Boundary Bay. All right, turning final. <laughs> What do you know about Boundary Bay? It's the busiest airport in the country. Yeah. Good time. How's your configuration doing? Um, we're doing alright. <laughs> Victor Oscar F Tango Final 27 full stop. Words. Fucking good. I like this. You're, you'll be okay. Just hold the power a smidge longer. Okay. So smooth air. <laughs> this is this is amazing. I love this. I don't, I don't <laughs> care. <Mine's flying. laughs> Let's see how long. Let go. How long will you make it with your trim? Oh, Here, I'm gonna make you climb. You ready? Over, yeah. Have I done this with you? No. Hey, nice. 
saw that. Got to pull the. <laughs> Not gonna make you own nose down. Wait, 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 wait. Correcting your altitude. <laughs> I gotta remember Crazy, that. Hey? I gotta remember yeah. that for my flight test. <laughs> All right, so getting ready to turn base. Yeah, let's do it now. Why not? Power first. Yeah, thank you. Yep, there it goes. That's the one I'm not gonna let you because it's just a. Uh, you got oh. you got the 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 original idea is you're ready to turn. You you don't think about the. Yeah. So I'm just gonna not let you do it. Sounds good. For it. Wait for it. Okay, now. <laughs> oh my goodness, where am I going? Uh. Oh my word, oh my word. Alright, let's get over, let's get back over here. Good slip. While you're in the slip, make the radio call. Victor Oscar Tango's final zero 09, touch and go. Touch Tango, Roger. Technically, Victor Oscar Tango's final next to runway zero 09, but we'll cross over that. Final for the grass. <laughs> okay, Looks and good. I'd say we've made the runway, so I'm pulling the power very gently, keeping it straight. Cruise. Pull it. You know what you did? Uh, didn't pull, didn't pull back hard enough. You did, but you did it too late because you paused. Oh, okay. When you went to cruise, you just sat there and then I watched everything go up. We need to keep that, keep going. Right. When you go to cruise, just kind of set, set yourself and then start pulling back again. All right, getting ready to pull the power, kind of now-ish. Beautiful. On the bumps, all right, gonna slowly pull the power out. Round off. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You paused. Yeah, I did. Okay, one more touch and go. All right. Once I see two good ones in a row, or just another good one, then we'll <laughs> call a full stop. All right. Check your power setting, also look inside at one good old gauge. You got her. You're pulling back, not adding power. Right. Slowly decrease that power, or you get too high. Awesome. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh my God, that is what we want to see. All right, give me a fist bump on that one. That was Boom. beautiful. Crosswind, buttered landing. That is awesome. Do you see that? I That's see what that. you want to yeah. do. That's... You got her. You got her. Awesome. Happy feet. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep going. Keep going. Hold it. Pull. Awesome. See that? Yeah. The only time you hold is when it goes down. So right. the world goes down. Right. And then the instant it stops, you are pulling back and you're pulling back fast. Crosswind's back. Awesome, correct. awesome correction. Looking good. It's happy feet. That was a big one. Yep. Happy feet. Hold it. Too aggressive. A little bit of power to settle. Keep pull. All good. Don't let it bug you. Big old gust. I felt it. So you just pulled a little too aggressive on the first one. You ballooned, and then you kind of double double ballooned, and then you came back down. When you added the power, you got speed, and when you got the power, you lost it. And you're going fast, so it's going to be more responsive unless you slow it down. Awesome, 65 right there. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Keep pulling. Go, go, go. Oh, butter. That is awesome. I'm so proud. <laughs> Very well done. Awesome one to end it off on. It is May the 28th, and you find me crouching under the wing of uh, Victor Oscar Tango. Um, just about to do pre-flight and go flying. Uh, by myself for the first time. Normally, 
um, you know, Riley or Praveen would be in here with me. But um, yeah, today they've decided, today is the day that they've decided that I am uh, going to be out here flying by myself. So yeah, I'm just going to do the whole pre-flight thing and uh, me and Victor Oscar Tango here are going to practice some landings all by my lonesome. Let's see how this goes. Camelot's radio, uh, Alpha Trusker Tango, run up complete taxiing to hold short of 27 on Echo. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. And traffic on the back track to exit on Fox and Golf, uh, and then finding departure off of uh, runway 09 northeastbound, RJ. Roger, traffic's inside, I'll, I'll hold short until they're clear. Victor Oscar Tango. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. All right, Victor so. Oscar Tango, sorry, it's, are you going to be holding sh uh, holding short until they've departed, or just until they're off the runway? I'll, I'll hold short until they've de departed, Victor Oscar Tango. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger, thank you. Oh, I guess I probably could have gone. I probably should have gone. Should I have gone? They're just on the little extra bit of of, of taxiway to, to do that. I probably should have gone. Should I have gone? I probably should have gone. I should have gone. Oh, well, next time. Uh, anyways, yeah, I like my new headset so far. It sounds really good in my ears. The microphone sounds really good. Um, and the headset, so the headphones sound really good. The decent seal, I'm going to have to, like, readjust them a little bit to kind of make sure they're sitting nice and flush on my head. On the fire planes. Fire planes taking off this time of year. Everyone's getting ready, getting ready for fire season. Wow, it's... it's... I don't see too many of those, I don't think. It's... a Jet. Super cool. Be landing long on this one. I'm going around. Screw it. I was all over the place. All right, so straight, lined up, nose high. Wow, it's bumpy out here. Holy cow. All right, first landing, we're down, got the nose up. All right, you know what? Not terrible for the first, considering how bumpy that, that approach was. Not terrible for the first landing. Look at the wind, slight crosswind from the right, not left. So like right now, kind of pointing beside the runway, but I am, ooh, my goodness, where are we going? Just pointing to the wind, it's okay. Look at the pull, wow, okay, you know what? This is getting a bit silly now. Still gotta pull the power once you've made the runway, you've made the runway. Pull it to cruise. Yeah, I mean, I guess, you know what, better make that decision, right? Better safe than dead, I always say. So it's okay if I'm a little bit low. I am gonna, there is gonna be a big balloon at some point. The only question is when. So we're coming over the trees. To extend our glide. Okay, the big balloon did not happen. What's happening here? There it goes. I'm going to say we've made the runway, so I'm pulling the power. Pull it to cruise. I'm not in the center of the runway, but it's all right. Another, oh, another balloon. <laughs> I'm supposed to be practicing landings right now, um, which is kind of hard to do if I'm not landing. So we end up getting some like updrafts. There's this little like kind of road, service road or something down below. And we seem to get some updrafts off that. So I'm gonna just try and get above it a little bit. Way more stable up here, I'm not gonna lie. Are we gonna get a balloon? This is the question. A little bit, a little bit. Definitely a lot nicer up there. Except when that happens. All right. Let's 
if you can put this airplane down. Ah, oh, I was so close. I was so close. I just got a little bit. I just pulled a little bit too much at the very end there. I would have slammed into the into the ground if I had kept going. Oh, that was so. It was so good too. Everything was going so well. Drat. All right, I'm gonna say we've made the runway, so I'm gonna pull the power. All right, here we go. Pull it to cruise. Hold it to cruise. Give it a beat. All right. So again, a bit too aggressive on the. Uh, a bit too aggressive on the. Uh, on the on the on the flare. But honestly, we got it down that time at least, so that's good. All right, here comes the turbulence. Pretty decently well lined up, a little slow though, so I'm going to nose over and put some more power in. There we go, I'm gonna say we've made the runway. Landing number three, right there, baby. Landing number three. We got one. It looked weird. <laughs> the funny thing about that landing is that, to me, it looked kind of funny. It didn't look quite right, but that's probably why it worked so well. So, I'll have to watch the tape, I guess. All right, this looks pretty good. I'm going to add a touch of power just to extend my glide a little bit. One of these days, I'm going to have to just say, you know, I'm landing long. I don't want to land down here. Getting ready to pull the power. All over the place. Yeah, 561 entering the zone from the north. Fire Guard 561, uh, Roger. You check traffic, just landing runway 09. They're going to roll it up to the end and exit echoes a Cessna. Uh, Roger that, sir. We'll call down one left hand, runway 09. Roger. All right, not too bad. Not too bad, that one. Victor Oscar Tango is rolling for Echo. Yeah, Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Well, that was a lot better. I, it, I was telling Riley afterwards that I'm really starting to put it together. All the stuff he's been teaching me about, like, how to land and how to land smoothly and stuff, really started to come together today in spite of how bumpy it was on some of those spots. Um, so, yeah, to, uh, apparently what we're doing next time is we're going to start doing short field takeoffs and landings, which is uh, very similar except shorter. But, yeah. I think I'm I think I'm start, starting to get this whole landing thing, which is I mean good. I mean it, when it comes to flying airplanes, landing is um it's good. And I pulled a little more power than usual. Awesome. Lap twenty. And I want to simulate a fourteen hundred foot obstacle at that green or at the orange marker. Okay. So I need to be like, all right. Uh, 1,300 feet, sorry. 13, oh, okay. Yeah, so I want you to cross at 1,350 to 1,400. Gotcha. Victor Oscar Tango is turning final, 2-7, stop and go. Victor Oscar Tango, roger, wind 2 seven, zero, at 15. Hey, you didn't say gusting anything. Yeah, but he did say turbulent. Flaps well, Alrighty. Alrighty. Oh, almost there, almost there. 1,300 is that obstacle. So you're 100 feet above it. Okay, so lower the nose, pull the power. Pull the power, pull the power. You're going to need to be idle. Okay, bring the nose back a little bit. While it's back, just keep pulling back a little bit. Slow yourself to your speed. Be ready to flare. There. Keep holding, keep pulling. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Flaps up, brakes, back pressure, back pressure all the way. Harder brakes, harder brakes, harder brakes, harder brakes. Beautiful, not too shabby. Ooh. All right. All right, we'll do it again. Brakes, brakes, right, more brakes. There we go, all right, so full power. 
Static power. Static Oil cars look good. Okay. 70 feet in the green. Airspeed's alive. Wait. Wait. Okay. Wait. Now it's starting to pull back for sure. There you go. And that's all you want. Okay. That's your attitude. There's, there's 60 right there. Okay. Beautiful. So you're just above your VY attitude. Gotcha. All right? 65 knots. That's fast, right? Yeah. So you got to pull that pressure. Sure. There you go. Like that. Hold that there. It's a pull the power. Hold back, back. Ah. Okay. All right, so that we got power. Everything looks good. You can be in the green. Here we go. Flap stand. Whoops. around those flaps. Okay. All right, let's do one more, one or two more. Okay. I didn't feel great, I'll have to, oops. Oh, right. you did fantastic. Okay. A little bit off center line, but you were straight, nose high, flared it to the stall, like, beautiful. Okay. Oh, that bit earlier. <laughs> well, wheeling. Okay, just right to ease it up. There you go. So clear of obstacle, lower the nose. And try to verbalize that. Yeah. Okay. Positive rate, flap stand. Thank you, I'm going to show you a micro picture. Start doing that, that's exactly what you want to see. Because then you Check, know, uh, know just, what you're yeah, doing. I came in the whole church here and then there was a screw that just fell out of the plane on the ground uh, on taxiway bro. So I'm just going to shut down here, pick up the screw. We're going to go back to CFC and uh, we'll try to pick it up. <laughs> Mike Bob Wexer, Roger. So just confirm you will be holding short of runway T7 at all times. We'll be holding short of taxiway bro at all times. We'll just shut down for 10 seconds and then uh, we'll taxi back to the station. Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. My screw! <laughs> okay, speed check. Good. Hello. Beautiful. No, you're good. Oh, I guess 60. Yeah. yeah. Hey, where are you going? Good correction. Where are we trying to land? For numbers? Numbers. Now oh, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. 60 knots. Slowly ease out the power. Idle. Back, 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 back. Hold it. Back, 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 back. Keep going, keep going. Beautiful. Flats up, flats up. Brakes back. Beautiful. That was 600 feet. Not too shabby by any means. Beautifully done. Well, uh, May is nearly over, and uh, a lot of flying, a lot of uh, <laughs> landings, all 45 of them. Um, but yeah, I made some really good progress on the landings. There is some talk of me doing my recreational flight test. Um, well, my instructors are thinking even before the end of June, I'm not sure that's going to happen, but hopefully before the end of summer, um, I will have my recreational license. If all goes well, still got to write the written test. So that's a bit of a thing. Um, but yeah, the next uh, flight I have is actually June the 1st. It's going to be a three hour thing where I have to go do solo short field takeoffs and landings and then move on to the next lesson, which is something else I can't remember, emergency or something, I can't remember. Either way, um, I'm going to get out of here again because it's late and I need to get to bed and I have to finish editing the video. Um, but yeah, I can't remember what else I was going to say, so I'm just going to go. So thanks for watching, and uh, me and this little guy right here, we'll see you at the end of June. He's pretty tired, he's had a long day. Okay, bye.
I'm assuming we're tying it down. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming we're throwing night flights. I don't know right what now. that is. Is that between eight and nine? I think that's between eight and nine. It does look like an eight and a nine. Yeah, yeah it must be a... All right, we can make that an eight. One point oh. I'll take it. Hmm. Sounds like something's still running. No, it's not. <laughs>